Hello everybody, how are you? Late night here in Los Angeles, down La Cienega. And it gives us a chance to do another video on Jacksonville, which we've been doing all week and this week as well. Now this particular video is going to be the five worst colleges and universities in Jacksonville. It pays to get a higher education for certain fields, so it makes sense to do your homework and find that institution that's the best for you. And from my chair, in my opinion, you're going to want to avoid these five. Number one, the University of North Atlantic Beach. The University of North Atlantic Beach was built in 1901 after the great arcade fire of Jacksonville that burned down most of the city. I talked about it in another video on how that occurred, but basically some youngsters were drinking too much soda pop and getting their system all jacked up on sugar. And then when the jazz band broke out the uh, hippity hop hits, they started slip sliding and toe tapping their feet all around the dance floor at the arcade at the boardwalk, creating so much heat that the place caught on fire and burned down most of the city. And the University of North Atlantic Beach was built after that and enjoyed a good reputation until the latter years, uh, the more recent years, where what was happening is the university was admitting good students, but for whatever reason, a large number of them, 75% or more, were dropping out after the first year. But the university somehow forgot to take them off the rolls and just kept getting money coming in from the state for each of these students that wasn't even there. In fact, the ruse kept going to graduation day when they would hire local actors and actresses to take the place of the phantom students at the graduation ceremony. Now, the, the deception was uncovered the right people were punished and the university has taken steps to rectify it but when you go there but when you get your degree you'll be under that cloud of suspicion now it may be worth it to you to endure that cloud of suspicion because you can save a lot of money the difficulty is that the class sizes are now so small that you won't have uh, very good study groups, you won't have interesting class discussions, and frankly, there won't be enough attractive people on campus to pique your interest uh, on a romantic basis. So there's a lot of drawbacks to the highly diminished uh, university size, but of course, they've also lowered their rates. Like I say, you can save some money. But for me, it's number one on the bad hit parade. Number two. The University of Oceanic Studies at the Beachside uh, Community College. Now, when you sign up for something of a title like that, it suggests that you have an interest in the ocean, in maritime studies, in science. And what you'll find out, though, is that the Beachside Community College Oceanic Studies has more to do with picking up trash on the beach. And while that ha is a necessary thing to do, and it's also important for studying uh, ecology, the uh, climate change, and a whole host of related fields, is probably not what you had in mind. I mean, my guess is if you went for the title of that original uh, field of study that I gave you there, that you wanted to be in submarines down below studying uh, animal life in the ocean or studying the movement of currents, studying coral reefs, so that you could then go get a job in the fast-growing field of oceanography. And so picking up trash on the beach while an important activity is not something that you want to have to go to college for. I think, I think you could just pretty much get one of those sticks with a nail on it 
and a, a bag and uh, have at it. So that's number two on the list of no-goes in universities and colleges in Jacksonville. Number three is the <laughs> number three is the Meat Slicer College of North East Florida. The Meat Slicer College of Northeast Florida. Now what happens is if you want to become a butcher, you want to join the grocery industry, the meat industry, the uh, meat slicing industry, there's a lot of ways you could go. You don't even have to go to college. You can just get an apprenticeship at a uh, local butcher, at a local grocery store, at a local meat market. There's a lot of places to go, a lot of uh, different options there. You can just get going. And so this college is selling the idea that you need a college degree in meat slicing to get into the industry and it's a ruse because it they're giving you four years of meat slicing education that really only takes about six months to cover so if you've ever had an assignment in high school or junior high and you basically knew about three sentences on the topic and the assignment was for three pages and that you tried to write filler and BS and baloney and malarkey to fill those three pages well that's what they did with an entire college and so I'm gonna say no uh, if you want to be a meat slice and king of the, the king of the kitchen just go do that just go walk up to uh, the meat slice and place and just say this man uh, all my life, I've wanted to slice meats and become the slice, the uh, meat slicing king of Jacksonville. All right? And then they'll say, uh, well, no, you don't have the, what it takes. You, you don't have the right uh, feel for it. It looks like you're wearing glasses, so you don't have the eye of a professional meat slicer. And guys, don't worry, because all they're trying to do is discourage you because they have so many people wanting to get into meat slicing that they try to discourage those as a screen. It's a screen to see how bad you want it, guys. And so for that reason, uh, you know, you want to uh, persist. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good that was so entertaining to me let's just call that the end of the video <laughs> let's call it three of the worst colleges and universities in Jacksonville <laughs>